Hey guys, today I got a quick video for you informing you about some changes to spruce tree and huge mushroom growth in a Minecraft 1.15 update. Alright, I'll start showing how spruce tree growth used to work in Minecraft 1.14.4. So there, if you had any block in the 5x5 area around the sapling, so this would be this area here, uh, starting from the third layer, then the sapling couldn't grow. So I'm just gonna remove everything except this corner block here. Then we can try to bone mill this. We'll see the sapling will never grow. And interesting thing is that, yeah, growing condition uh, doesn't only consider like non-tree or tree-related blocks. Even if you have a log block somewhere in that area, then it still couldn't grow. It's kind of different from the other sapling types. For example, if you would have a birch sapling, and we have a block here, then it also couldn't grow. But if you would have a dirt block or a log block, that's no issue, then the sapling can grow. So spruce was always special in that regard that it couldn't have any logs next to it in the 5x5 area. One result of this behavior was, for example, that you couldn't have just a row of saplings that you bone meal, like you could do here with the acacia sapling, I can do the same with birch and oak. But of course, this wouldn't work with the spruce sapling. So if I try to bone mill the next one, wouldn't work. This one also doesn't work. This could grow again here. Next, let's check what happens in Minecraft 1.15 to the spruce tree saplings, if there are any blocks obstructing it. So we got, again, a block at the corner point, and it still wouldn't grow. So in that regard, the spruce tree is still very restrictive. The birch tree would have no issue growing there. But this would only apply to the yeah, non-dirt and non-lock blocks. So if we replace this with a lock block, the spruce tree can grow now. Okay, the spruce tree could also grow if there's um, locks next to it now. So we can grow spruce trees like this. Now let's take a look at some of the consequences of this changed behavior for tree farms. So there's some good news. For example, simple tree farms like this one here, that previously would only work with birch and oak trees would now also work with spruce trees. So let's take a look inside. Just gonna place a sapling in there. As soon as it grows, we would break the leaves um, with the log blocks here on the side and push the tree out. So the same works for birch sapling, of course. And now if we would remove this block here, so the tree growth is not in that would also work now for the spruce tree. And this is yeah, something new. So we had to place this block there to prevent large oak trees from growing, but this would actually prevent the spruce sapling from growing because the tree can't grow high enough. So if you have a tree farm like this one here and wanna adjust it microphone point 15 to also work with spruce saplings, then you would need to remove this block if you wanna grow the spruce trees and add it again because the large oak trees would kind of ruin the tree farm. This tree farm design in particular would need to be adjusted a bit further even in order to handle the six log that the spruce tree can generate sometimes. So this was also a specialty about the spruce trees. You can restrict the, the height, but it's not to a single value, then there's still a range of the logs growing, I think four to six high. Let's try this out a little bit. There we go, it's the first tree, this is six logs. Five, six. Let's try another one. Let's see if you can maybe get a four or five high one. A six high one. Showcase effect. <laughs> we'll get it eventually. Let's try another one. Okay, so this one is five, five. But I've seen an even four high as well. Now let's take a look at one downside of this change, and it affects mostly the 2v2 spruce tree farms. So here we got a copy of a 2v2 spruce tree farm on our 1.12 survival server. So the player would AFK in the minecart here and just place saplings on a 2v2 dirt there, and yeah, the bottom of the dispenser here would cause the tree to grow. So at the moment, since I'm in the 1.12 version, this couldn't grow at all because we got the locks here on the side. So I can bone mill this as much as I want, even if there's multiple saplings next to it. It would only grow once we got the full 2v2. Two two. Just gonna turn on the farm really quick. Make a lot of noise. You can see this grows rather quickly. Got a change. Oh, <laughs> it's a TNT there. 
blowing up the logs. Okay, so the change now in 1.15 would be as soon as you place a sapling here and you bone mill it, it could grow before you got the full 2v2 of saplings. So in case you have a farm like this one here, you really need to make sure that you place all four sap saplings before you start bone milling. So just FYI, the practice of bone milling sapling before it could actually grow was beneficial in terms of speed of the tree farm. That's why we did it. It was a bit wasteful in terms of bone meal because it yeah, couldn't grow. But yeah, the reason was that the saplings have two growth stages. You can see here on the right, stage zero. If I would bone meal the single sapling here, then the whole 2 by 2 tree only needs to advance one more stage, kind of. So that's why it was beneficial for the speed of the tree farm to bone meal all the time. In case you're wondering if this new behavior might be a bug, that question has been answered. Ardalon made a bug report a couple months ago and the resolution was works as intended. There's also a bit of discussion here at the bottom. Professor Mobius also gave a reason. Tree behaviors are being normalized across the board. This is an intended result of that. So to sum it up, there was an intended change to spruce tree growth mechanics, microphone 1.15 where dirt and log blocks within a 5x5 area no longer obstruct the tree growth, which is good for simpler 1x1 one -one tree farms, but not so great for 2x2 two -two spruce tree farms. Now let's also take a look at, at another change affecting huge mushroom growth. So I'm still in a microphone 15 version at the moment, and I placed one block here above. And as you can see, the mushroom can grow directly below this block now. This is different to older versions, well, this wouldn't have been possible. Now let's try the same, a micro 1.14.4. As you can see, the brown mushroom doesn't grow. If you would raise that block here, then it can grow, but you always need this one wide air gap in between. This change, of course, can also affect existing brown mushroom block farms, but in a lot of cases, you can probably easily adjust those. So here we got a farm that is signed a micro 1.12. And we can yeah, adjust this farm by placing one glass block here in the middle to prevent the mushroom from growing higher than usual. And this way we still get a mushroom that only grows high five. And none of the yeah, redstone will be affected by this because you had to keep this air gap in between anyway. I also did some research on the bug tracker. Apparently this change behavior hasn't been reported yet. So I'm not sure if it's intended or not. So that's all I got for today. Thanks guys for watching. See you in the next video. Bye bye.